Today we went back in time to the Victorian era. We visited the workhouse in Southall to experience what it would have been like to live and work during the Victorian times. The workhouse was a place where very poor and often homeless Victorians went to work and live. The women carried out the domestic chores like washing pots and clothes, pumping water for everyone to use and preparing the food for around 160 people who lived in the workhouse. The men were put to work by breaking rocks to be used in road building. The work here was hard and was often in cold, dark, cramped conditions. On arriving at the workhouse, the children would line up and have their name, age and reason for being there taken by the master and mistress. And as we found out, children should be seen and not heard. The bedrooms, or dormitories as they were called, were also very cold and cramped with at least two people sharing a single bed. The beds had straw mattresses that were only changed every six months but you had to be careful not to get caught in the wrong dormitory, otherwise you would be told off by the mistress. While children were at the workhouse, they would be taught basic reading, writing and arithmetic from teacher. They would write on slate boards and had to stand up to speak to show their manners. The teacher was very strict and if you were caught talking in class, you would probably have to stand facing the wall as punishment. So what do you think it would have been like to grow up in a workhouse? Uh, for a child in the 1800s, I think it would have been quite hard. Um, I think being segregated from their parents um, was quite hard for them and quite difficult for them to deal with. But on the other hand, at least they were getting three good meals a day, a roof over their head, and decent clothing. What do you think would have been the worst thing about it? I think the worst thing about it was, as I said earlier, um, the segregation. Not to be able to see your parents, if you were a child, uh, not to be able to see your parents for a whole week. Um, and only um, if you and every member of your family had obeyed the rules and been good. Um, and you were allowed half an hour on a Sunday. Now, if one member of your family hadn't been good, then you wouldn't be allowed to see your parents. And I think that must have been really hard for children. But how many people would have lived in a workhouse like this one? This particular workhouse, mm. at the height of the season, would have housed approximately 160 people. So that's quite a lot for the house. Quite a lot for the house. So, um, one last question, what were the main jobs in the workhouse? For the men, the main jobs were um, breaking rocks, that they were used for the building of roads and farm yard, in the farms as well. Um, and also the men used to pick oakum. Um, I don't think you as a girl saw the oakum picking. And that was ropes that came from the shipyards, had to be picked apart and then sent back to the shipyards. And then they would um, put tar in it and then cork between the planks of ships. It was a horrible, horrible task that used to cause a lot of pain because people used to lose their fingernails, they used to have cuts all over. And also women and children also had to do that task here. The women, of course, were doing the domestic chores. They were doing the cleaning and the cooking and the washing. And the children, of course, were learning their letters. Their main task was education. So I want the tall biscuit this side and reel that side. Get back in line! Hand your hand on your pocket! Anyway, what we ain't got very long, so what I got to do is, is just take you around the work as you get a feel a bit of where you're gonna be, what it's like to live in here, okay? Just like that. And he was facing that way. And as I went out, I turned around with a candle and his one eye winked at me. 